everybody welcome back to my channel as a lot of you might know by now i am with child <laughs> So this episode is going to be extra, extra special because it's myself and Baby Vold that are going to be in this episode. Before I start, Baby DeSalo Vold would love to say a huge thank you to the overpouring best wishes I got all over social media. I knew that I was going to get a response, but I did not know I was going to get the response that I got every single one of you i have so many aunties out there this is baby de Salovo talking now <laughs> and the baby wants to tell you thank you very very much i thank you ula thanks you we are so 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 humbled and it is such a great time for us and yes we were sitting on a secret <laughs> all this time all this time, all the way right down from February, we were sitting on this secret. And it wasn't so much a secret, it was just such a pleasant surprise that we wanted to keep it for us, to really enjoy every moment, not miss a single part of this for our family and for us. A lot of you kept on asking me, how did you find out you were preggers? How did you tell Ula? I didn't tell Ula, Ula told me. <laughs> I did the pregnancy test. I left it in the bathroom. As a lot of you will know, you have to wait like four or five minutes or something. I left the bathroom. I came to the city room, I think to get something or to get a drink or whatever. I don't know. And then Ula came with the test and said, for me, we're pregnant. That was how I knew we were pregaloops. <laughs> yes. And it has been such an exciting time. I am extremely grateful because I've had a wonderful pregnancy. I didn't have the pregnancy mask, I didn't get swollen, I didn't get tired, I didn't get stretch marks, I haven't got them yet anyway. You know, the only thing that happened to me was the first three months I was sick. I was so sick, I was nauseous but I didn't vomit. So I couldn't eat, I couldn't eat anything and I ended up losing 15 pounds. I have, I had and I still have a very bitter taste in my mouth. It has subsided now. So because of that, I couldn't eat spicy food. I couldn't eat fried food. I could, I could only eat bland food. I could only eat uh, broccoli that Ula would, you know, mesh for me and put into a soup. I could eat that. I could eat salads. I could eat vegetables, fruits. I couldn't drink any soda. I couldn't eat any chocolate, nothing. And I couldn't eat after six o'clock or whatever, unless I would just feel extremely nauseous when I was going to bed. So because of the bitter taste in the mouth, I found out, my doctor told me, take ice, take crushed ice so that you don't damage your teeth and suck on it. And it will bring down the taste in your mouth. I had brought that up in my Instagram stories and a lot of you said, oh, that is showing signs of anemia. No, no, no. My doctors, they are on top of me on a weekly basis. It was because I have the bitter taste in my mouth. I want to thank, take this opportunity to thank my wonderful, wonderful family, most especially my mom and my sister. My mom has called me every single day. We talk, we laugh on the phone. She gives me so many tips and I loved that. I love because my sister's had two children. My mom has had three children and my mother experienced the same thing that I had. So I was very, very well looked after. I had Ula, who is the best husband ever. I did nothing but sleep, eat, go for walks, and just chillax. I did my videos whenever I could, and I put them up, and that was it. Because we kept it to ourselves, I didn't have all of this you know noise in my ears like some other girls had you know on their instagrams because i saw when they had announced their pregnancy cardi b had announced her pregnancy lily galici had announced her pregnancy katrina had announced her pregnancy there are so many of us and chima another girlfriend of mine from ellie had already announced her pregnancy and i could see in the comments oh you can't do this you shouldn't do this you should and i just didn't want any of that i wanted to be very serene and very calm and i loved every minute of 
it so far. We went to New York, we went to Scotland, we went to uh, Brighton, and I was fine. I got the okay from my doctors every single time. It's been such a serene and beautiful, wonderful, wonderful experience. I also want to take this opportunity to say that I think Ola should open a pregnancy spa. <laughs> And I will lend him out to you guys because I had the best time. He cooked everything. On weeks that he had to travel, he would stock up the fridge so that I didn't have to go out shopping to buy any food or whatever. The food was already pre-made and everything. I just had to heat it up and that was it. I have lived a very healthy, healthy pregnancy. I've been extremely fortunate and I know that everybody is different when it comes to their pregnancies. I know every pregnancy can be different even for the same woman. I just happened to turn out like this and because I did, I was still able to film without anybody detecting. My nose didn't blow up, my face didn't blow up. Like I said, I didn't get swollen. I didn't get any of that. All I had was the bitter taste in the mouth and nausea which lasted for three months. After that, healthy, I was good to go. So that was that. And of course, as you guys might have figured out by now, that is why my sister won't kick him to town. <laughs> and we had the blast and she looked at my tummy and she was just like, for me, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. And I said, yes, there it is. You know, I also wanted to say something else. I am so humbled by all of you. And I want to send this message out to those that want to get married and want to have children, those of you that are in your 30s, that you are 40s, those of you that are struggling with fertility. It is all in God's time and keep the faith and keep going. I am 49. I got pregnant when I was 48. My birthday is in April and I've lived my life. I've lived my life. I've traveled. I've seen it all. I've modeled, I've acted, I've lived in so many different beautiful cities from New York to LA to London and back. I've had such a wonderful marriage and I waited to get married to the right man and that is why this pregnancy is such a wonderful experience because I am having the most beautiful baby with the most wonderful man and it took time but I didn't rush. I traveled, I bettered myself, I learned how to drive, I went back to uni, I went to UCLA, I was taking courses, I learned so many things and I just rolled with the dice. The older I've gotten, the more I know that I don't know anything. What I mean to say is open up your mind and the world will open up to you. Don't cut yourself off on anything. Don't say, I can't do this. I can't be with this person. I can't do this right now. Do it all because those are the roads and the avenues that will lead you to your destination. And I am a testimony to that. And I am so grateful. I'm so humbled because when I look back, you have made me the mother that I'm going to be. When I started sister to sister, it was for you guys. You were all of my daughters. No crying, I'm emotional, I'm pregnant. <laughs> you were my daughters. And I looked after all of you, all of your crazy questions. <laughs> and I was like, what is she talking about? And it's going to make me a better mother. I'm so much more patient, I'm so much more calm. I couldn't have had a baby in my 30s. I was too selfish. I was I was in another direction. I wasn't focused. I couldn't have gotten married. That's just me. I'm talking about me. And so, you know, when I look back 49, what doesn't bother you doesn't matter. And that is how I feel. And I want to be very transparent with you because I never at one point in time ever set out to be an inspiration. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I wasn't. I was just living my life. That was what I was doing. I was living my life. I got onto YouTube at 45. Well, I said, do YouTube. Because I kept on getting fired from all of my jobs. <laughs> and he said, Micah, this woman, what am I going to do with her? 
no but seriously he said do youtube you're fabulous you're great you know makeup you know this do it never ever 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 did i think oh because i'm 45 and the other girls are 25 i'm not going to do it open up your mind keep going keep striving you're all so beautiful i find that a lot of you don't know how fabulous you are keep your standards high it's hard it's a very lonely place because it's non-negotiable 95 percent of the time but if you could only see the marriage that ula and i have the laughing years the traveling years the loving years and now we're going to have the children years and i am so so over the moon i'm so grateful every single one of you have contributed to the woman to the mother to be that i am now so i thank you and baby de Salovod thanks you so much thank you aunties i'll see you soon <laughs> thank you all right so let us move on and this episode is all about my pregnancy must-haves there are things that i want to share with you because i'm a first-time mom and i never knew until i knew and I know some of you are out there and I said to myself, self, it's all about sharing. Don't get it twisted, guys. I mean, I'm still going to be very fabulous, but I've opened up my world and now we're going to have babies. So I want to share with you and I want you guys to share with me. All right. So don't forget to put all of your stuff down in the comment section. So let me start with my wonderful mother, my sweet, sweet, adorable, gorgeous, gorgeous, adorable beautiful mom mommy king sweetie you girl <laughs> so we're gonna start with skincare ladies go and get find it go to the market for my caucasian sisters if you're not aware get sheer butter raw sheer butter sensational Put it over your tummy, put it on your hips, put it on your bottom, put it on your breasts, put it on your thighs, arms, anywhere you think you've got a little bit of junk in the trunk, put it. It is raw sheer butter. It almost looks like cake mix. Fantastic. Above everything else, the oils, the creams, the cocoa butters, raw. It has to be raw now. Raw sheer butter it will minimize if you are prone to stretch marks it will minimize the stretch marks i do not have one i have a picture i'm going to put up that i put up onto instagram you will see i don't have one stretch mark my mother doesn't have any stretch marks my sister doesn't have any stretch marks my mother was the one who got me this i swear by this i put it on in the mornings in the afternoons when i'm just lying down not doing anything and in the evenings this is fabulous i also back it up with bio oil but i'm telling you right now bio oil is not as effective as the raw sheer butter but i put it on multiple times throughout the day i put baby oil also my entire body I put baby all throughout my body, my legs, my arms, my feet, my neck, my face. I use baby oil. I just did an episode where I use baby oil to take off my makeup because it breaks it all down. When I'm in the shower, I will just pat my body and I'll put this in and my skin just drinks it in. Amazing. My beautiful sister, Honke, came and she brought sheer formula, raw sheer balm. Woohoo! <sighs> it smells like cake mix. It smells like toffee. I love it. I even moisturize Ula. Ula loves it, I'm telling you. So that's skincare. If you are Prega Loops, you should be taking your vitamins. Folic acid is a must because it helps to develop the baby's brain. So make sure that you're taking some kind of multivitamin. I take pregnant care and I have 19 vitamins and minerals. It's got iron, it's got zinc, it's got vitamin D, it's got B12, folic acid, and I vitabiotics. This one is the big one and I'm taking this throughout my pregnancy and I take this every single morning. You guys, if you're pregnant, you should be. Oh my Lord, I am 30 weeks now. And I think when I was around five, six months, I started to get heartburn. It was not a joke. Ula is amazing. 
Ula found out really guys if you can get this you just chew on it the heartburn will subside in a matter of five six minutes i swear by this and of course you can use it you know for those that are expecting this is the best thing i <laughs> it's the best thing ever because as the baby is with all of the acids and everything everything comes up and lord have mercy your chest feels like it's on fire this everything love it thank you Rene. thank you they've got peppermint flavor they've got orange flavor but i like the orange flavor because of my bitter taste in my mouth this works for me while we're on the subject constipation repeat after me constipation <laughs> yes i was like ooh, ooh. <laughs> lactulose <laughs> You will go to the bathroom don't push don't put any pressure on your beautiful body you take care of your little bump and your baby and let lactulose do the rest the only thing i will let you know take it on a day off <laughs> because it will give you one or two warning signs that's that's the first sign to let you know it's giving you five minutes flat to get to the bathroom the next air uh, is letting you know it's on its way fantastic but stay at home <laughs> oh god ula bought me this flask i'm going to take it with me when i go to the hospital this is where i put my ice and put my water i go nowhere without my water I am so happy. I'm so flattered. Oh my God, for me, you look fabulous. You look good. You... I drank and ate healthy. I didn't really have a choice. <laughs> and by the time I had finished the three months where I was so sick and everything, my palate had just changed and I just craved chill bone, ice cold water. And like I said, I used to just, you know, suck on the ice. This flask is fantastic because 24 hours and kicking, Ooh, it's some water spilled out there it will keep the ice cold it will keep the ice cold so sometimes when i wake up in the morning at night whatever you understand i have my eyes i don't go anywhere without this flask so guys it is what it is you, you can put whatever you what you need or what you want in your flask but i just found that this was just amazing it was just amazing for me yeah all right then we are going to go to the baby doppler i love this it's a little chic dig like this let me put it on you understand and you just take the gel because it comes with the gel you put it over your tummy and you can listen to your baby's heartbeat this was such a wonderful gift ula bought it for me and when he would travel and i was on my own i would just hear my baby's heartbeat and it was our bonding time it was our time where I would think, you know, what the baby looks like, what we're going to do, what kind of life we're going to have together, what kind of mother I'm going to be. It is such a wonderful gift. And I want to give this away, this particular one, I'm going to give away to another upcoming mother with a, a giveaway that I'm going to put together once I've had, you know, my baby. It is such a wonderful time just to hear his or her heartbeat, to be alone and just bond with your baby. It's the best thing ever. I absolutely cherish this. Many, many times I would just sit alone and we would be in our own world. They've got a page on Instagram as well. So you can see what I'm talking about. Ula also mentioned, because when we were at the doctors, when I went for my ultrasound, she mentioned that the Doppler, you have to be careful when you're using it and make sure that you're not hearing your heartbeat. Make sure that you're hearing the baby's heartbeat. Also, you can also hear a beat because your blood will be rushing through to the baby and it does goes to do, to do, to do. The difference is that your baby's heartbeat is faster than yours. So what I advise you is that try and hear yours first so you can know what the difference is and then try to hear your baby's heartbeat so that you don't get confused. All right, my loves? Okay, 
love this thank you Olski Kabulski. Ula also got me an Apple watch and I loved this I walked every day I walked every day for an hour and because of that I could monitor my exercise and know what I was doing so then you have all of the exercises that it tells you your activity and I loved this because it would let me know how far I was going, how much I was doing. And I wanted to do like a certain amount every day. A lot of you picked up on it real quick once I announced my pregnancy. No wonder she hasn't been to the gym because I was expecting absolutely, because I can't start running and speed walking, you know. No way, Jose, this is a very precious baby. So what we did do was that Ula, after work, he would walk with me. He would hold my hand and would walk all over the city 45 minutes to an hour 90 percent of the time there's a river bay so we would walk down there and it was just so serene it was just so fabulous ula also bought a light and he changed the bulbs in the house you guys have to try this out it's called licks and you can change the lights to purple to red to blue and it was extremely calming for me especially when i was just feeling nauseous i was feeling restless and i couldn't sleep it was amazing and of course as, as i was getting bigger baby disaluvold was reacting to light when it was like a bright light it was like a rushed a rushed movement there was a time when i was on the bus and there was so much noise and the baby was moving so much i had to get off the bus i was like oh, oh my god baby is feeling frantic this light is everything love 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 this of course i'll put pictures up for you guys to see let's go into clothes wolford sensational there's a particular dress called the fatal dress it's elastic it's stretchy hold on let me get it for you guys okay there we go <laughs> You see, look at, from here, you guys will suspect, hi guys, how are you? Da -da -ding, the baby was there. So yeah, so it's called Wolford Sensational and this is the dress. You can wear it when you're going out, when you still want to feel sexy and everything. You can wear a bra underneath it for the straps to show. I am going to do a fashion lookbook, a maternity fashion lookbook for you guys. So you guys will see what I'm talking about. It hugs, it's comfortable, it's got that soft stretch. It's not that kind of girdles, you know, stretch strong very hard uncomfortable elastic this is a very soft uh stretch and it does work i got it in black because black goes with everything beautiful then as you guys would know i live in kaftans so i wore kaftans and i just wore a lot of stretchy fabric it's the only way you can go it's the same thing with this because this is a shirt and then look this is stretch so it works you know there you go so that's what i have now when it came to underwear sexy bra had to go sexy mama gone baby mama here we are so i had the bras that didn't have any wire underneath and then more than anything i got the extension clips in the back so that that way i didn't really have to buy a bra because my boobs got bigger but then after that they stopped but I needed this in the back so that I could have space because my boobs were so sensitive that I needed that little room. So get the little extension clips. That will save you from buying other bras. Again, the sexy was gone and big mama Keen was here. <laughs> yes, these are my, these are my underwears. I had to, I was depressed. I was like, all oh, my lacy panties gone. This is where I'm at. So I made fun with them. I enjoyed them. I'll put the link for you guys. They're just so cute. They're so adorable. You're expecting, enjoy it. Don't fight it. It is what it is. Next is my U pillow. I love this. By the time you hit 28 weeks, the doctor will advise you to make sure you sleep on your side. If you sleep on your back, um, not so good because you're trying to avoid stillbirth. So you want to sleep on your side. The thing is, baby de Salovold is a big baby. So sleeping on this side, I was kind of tilted. So I needed something to support me. 
Ula got this on Amazon for what? 30 pounds or whatever. Magic. It's like sleeping on clouds. That is the only way I can describe it. Absolutely fantastic. I <laughs> I don't want to even let it go as we're talking. It is so fabulous. I cannot put it in words. You just have to uh, get it for you to know what I'm talking about. And for those of you that just want to sleep on clouds, get it. It's in the U shape and it is soft and it's absolutely highly, highly FDV approved. All of these things are FDV approved. So now that we've talked about all of the stuff that I'm using, let me talk about all the stuff that I've been eating. Because of the bitter taste in my mouth, like I said, there were a lot of things that were eliminated from my diet. I just did not have any uh, desire to eat them. Chocolate, sweets, sodas. It was so bizarre because I was like, this baby is amazing. All the things that I shouldn't be eating is what is rejecting. I ate a lot of salads. I ate a lot of soups. In the mornings, I only eat oatmeal. I've been eating oatmeal for the past almost eight months and I love it every single morning. I put in different types of fruit from orange to pear to banana to apple any kind of fruit I put like a little bit of milk and that is it I eat that and then by 12 noon I have to eat I have to eat again and then I have more salad it can be with chicken it can be with lean cut it can be with meat or whatever nothing raw because you have to stay away from that in the evening ironically more veg that's just what I want eat whole wheat bread eat whole wheat rice every once in a while and that was it this was what i've been eating for the past like i said almost eight months it does work for me and that is it my loves i am so happy to be doing this episode and i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like to subscribe to hit the notification button the next episode i'm going to do will be all about maternity fashion and i will see you soon so from baby de and i bye for now thank you so much <laughs> thank you everybody <laughs> Ula, come and say goodbye wave your hand here <laughs> yes de Salivold family bye, bye. <laughs> I've been running around in circles for so long I never really understood what I did wrong